Alrighty, to Lake Hylia. Alright, time to return to the worst level. <laughs> Everybody loves the Water Temple, what are you talking about? So, be, is... so you want to be Darunia? Yes. So bottom left. Oh wait, what, co what costumes do I have on the I don't remember. Oh yes, the Twilight Princess Gorons, and then mm. um, Darmini from a Ugh. Mask. And even has like the scar, which that's kind of cool. And then just overall. You know what? I want to be Darmani. Alrighty. You know what? To go with that, just to go with that theme, I'll be Rudo with uh... That is based off the Zora Queen from Tri Princess. There we go. The Lulu costume. Ooh. From. Also from Majora's Mask. Uh. Honest? I mean, I've played. Actually, you know what? No. I've played Rudo on this already. I'm actually gonna be. Screw it. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? Actually, no, maybe you should play as him at some point. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do that. Sorry. Okay. Sorry to tense people, but you should play as him at some point later instead. Vengeful deity mask. Yes. It's not even fierce, it's vengeful. Yes. Step up. <laughs> Once we get to, like, out of these, you can go back to playing, like, whatever character. I just think, like, for this, it's kind of neat to play as the characters mm -hmm. that they're calling for. Makes sense, and I am enjoying the characters. Yep. Alright, what does he do? For Darunia's use only, except when you're Darmini. I'm gonna gear him flashbacks. <laughs> How so? Because locking on to enemies following up with strong attacks? Well, not quite. He doesn't, like, lock on to a specific enemy like what gear him does. It's more of just when you target enemies, he can do good. Oh, makes sense. But yeah. This is spooky. It's pretty neat, actually. This I, I like this level. I actually don't hate the water temple that much. It's just one particular section of the water temple. Where you collect, so we have to like, jump down from up here and sneak attack. Where you need, like, four keys in a row. Yeah, And yeah, finding yeah. the four keys is a pain in the butt. Yeah. I, I will say, though, I do think it is good level design. It's just annoying. Hey, Liz Alphos. Welcome to my hammer. Oh. Yay. Oh, that was a Triforce. Okay. Yep. Young Link is, like, crazy good. Like, he's only decent as Young Link, but he has this thing where if you, uh, if you fill up his magic meter, he can turn it into... Rudo, what are you doing? Sorry, if Why you, are you sorry, up here? If you fill up a special meter, he can turn it into his magic meter. So you could technically be Fierce Deity forever, because look, if I activate my, uh, if I activate my magic thing, I turn to Fierce Deity, and then I'm like... Probably the most powerful character in the game that way. Nice. Also with uh, Ocarina Time Link voices, which is actually kind of kind of neat. You should definitely play Young Link later. I think you'll like him. Darunia's hammer looks cool. I believe that is actually the Megaton hammer, or it's meant to be based off the Megaton hammer. Makes sense because it was a Goron weapon. Yeah. We rescued Rudo. She always needs rescue. Yep. All right. And now she shows us where to go. And oh yeah, Impa and Sheik are also there. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. Rolling is fun. The lakeside key. Oh, if you use your normal, did you use your normal uh, special attack move where you're actually rolling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if that's what you were doing or not. Oh, so if you hit someone, you roll yep. farther. Okay. Zelda's harsh rhetoric. <laughs> Did I write this? That's how I write. I, I like, Do have you? the most florid writing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I have to read your stuff now, just because of that. I have to intentionally keep myself from sounding, like, super pompous. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds interesting, actually, though. And remember, the Gorons are not our enemies now. These skeleton things are. We. Oh, we have to escort Rudo. Gosh darn it. Yes. Level almost as confusing as the water temple itself. <laughs> it's, it's not actually that bad, but still. That does a lot of damage, jeez. What does? The full face strong attack. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, is it the one where he throws the rock? Or did you not see that yet? No, it's the one where he just rolls into them and then pushes them. Okay, yeah. If you do the, uh, his final combo, Ooh, I like his final combo, he just picks up a giant rock and hucks it. And it's really powerful, actually. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. Journey seems like a type who would deal so much damage. Mm-hmm. So, like, how now we're purposely it, draining it, the water in the Kylia. It, it, does not, it doesn't, it doesn't drain, drain that home. fast. <laughs> That's not how it works. Time lapse. Nice. All right, let's open this. Here we go. This is massive. <laughs> I. He was so close up to the chest, just like. <laughs> and that happy face. Yeah. <laughs> the smirk. So good. And now we go down into the like most of the temple. Not into the depths. Pose. Yes. Very much based off Ocarina of Time pose, too, which is nice. He phased through my rolling. What a joke. Yeah, they're, they're a little annoying to fight, actually. It's fine, the pose. Oh, something else annihilated. nice. So, something they don't make clear in this version of the game is that each enemy, or each of the bigger enemies, such as like Pose, um, Gibdos, Arafos, they're weak to specific items that we have. Oh. And they don't make that clear in this. But they make it clear in the 3DS version. I don't like using the items anyway, so... Well, no, but, like, basically, if you use it against them at the right time, it stuns them so that you can hit them and not have to worry about getting hit by them. That sounds like something for higher difficulties. Kind of. All the ones... This is the okay. wrong dungeon! But, but basically, they... <laughs> well, maybe. Unless Link was feeling generous and just left it there instead because he didn't want to go back under that dang well. It's true, that well is That well is terrible. I would have okay, Real talk though, I actually would have loved if the level in this was the well and you had to. Uh, and the point was like to get to the freaking. What's it called? Dead Hand? Oh, that thing's so creepy. It is. I'm gonna take this side, you take the other side, because we need to clear both of these. Oh, okay. Will do. I say this side, viewers may not understand what I mean, but like on the map, we're on two different arrows. It's true. Well, they can see my mini map. Okay. Does that lava zone I create continue to deal damage to people around me? Um, yes. Because there's so many times where I'm fighting Darunia and I try going in and it like hits me and I just collapse and I lose time and then he, I'm, and then I'm open. Fun. Summoners. Oh, those are the guys with pains in the butt. I'm gonna go handle this. <laughs> it's pretty much just a bigger version of the Southlands and it's wearing a hat. Angry Goron. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Oh, I found one. The music in these games are actually pretty good. Andrew doesn't like them. I was just considering the music too, it's weird. Like, this one particularly. Yeah. And Andrew says, like, every track has like the same drums. And it's like, the same drums all the way throughout, so it bothers him. But, I personally like the, the, the music in Hyrule Warriors. I think it's pretty good. Blood switch down, baby. And I'm pulling this one down now too, actually. Water just not working. I'm not as fast at taking keeps as you are. I don't think I've. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Darunia also has like a ton of damage. Yeah. Like. Well, remember, there's also the 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 bazaar where in this where um yeah or yeah the bazaar where you have to go through like, making the the badges and all that for the uh, the characters and uh, it's what makes them better. Oh, and does, uh, Rudo not have all of them? Hmm? Does your Rudo not have all of the badges then? Well, I'm not playing as Rudo, I'm playing as Gen 1, but, oh, yeah. Duh. Most most characters, I did not complete all the badges for, because sometimes it, 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 some, sometimes it requires a lot. Like, it requires, like, the most rare drop from this one character. Fair enough. Like, the final badge in each row kind of thing. Like, sometimes it's hard. Grinding levels. Yep. 
What the fuck? You're, you're 104. My youngling is 116. I have not... Despite playing more Hyrule Warrior Legends, I have not balanced out the characters as much as I have in this one. Most characters are at around level 100, but then I have Link at like 215. I'm trying to get each character at max level. Well, it makes sense. You put up with the characters that you might not necessarily like in this yeah. one because it was the first one. Yeah. And then when the second one came out, you're like, I don't want to go through well, that again. Not, not even that. I'm purposely like trying to avoid what I did in this one of like, oh, yeah, I didn't play this character at all until I had to get their unlockables. And then like, it was horrible trying to do that. Oof. Whereas in this case, um, in, in uh, Legends, I like knew to play them and balance it out so that when I was unlocking their stuff, it wasn't going to be terrible. Fair enough. Pretty good with mask. In Dynasty Warriors, because there's like a bajillion characters, in newer games, there are ways to just like feed XP to them. I mean, yeah, you can do that in this. Like, but if you sacrifice rupees, you can like just basically force them to level up a few levels. The problem is like that takes a lot of rupees sometimes. Makes sense. Like there's the, there's a uh, glitch in this game to give yourself infinite rupees. Which is like nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand, etc. And they can like high, at higher levels, it can only really raise a character by maybe ten levels. Makes sense. Like that's really hard because <laughs> it starts to require a lot of rupees. Look, it's fake Zelda. She looks. She looks a little ill. <laughs> she looks more similar to Twilight Princess Zelda. Well, her, in, in her design, yeah, she's kind of similar to Princess Zelda. Oh, I killed the Poe on accident. I didn't even uh. kill the Poe. Oh, burst of energy. Yay. Zelda summoned King Dodongo? Uh, um... You know what? I'll let, I'm gonna let you deal with Zelda. I'm gonna stop King Dodongo. Okay. Just so you don't have to worry about that. Also, just so Durunia does more. And it's not too crowded on screen of both of us doing the same thing. Fair enough. Also, this music's pretty good. It is pretty good. Alrighty. Zelda's down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even need to take down King Dodongo. Oh, that's what's happening here. That's also a really big lens of truth. I should have known. Oh, here we go. So spooky. All right, here we go. Magic. In Bashok's face. Spooky. <laughs> she was out all along. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Since 1997 or something. I mean, there's still people that don't know that because they didn't play the game simply, but... Really? Yeah. It's like one so of the most famous plot neat. twists in gaming. It is. And now Impish is like, oh, I trusted you fully all along. <laughs> it was just like, suspicion? What's suspicion? Yeah, right? <laughs> It's actually really cool though how Link and Zelda and Ganondorf technically have costumes from each of the games they were in. So, Ooh. so Link and Zelda had costumes from Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword as well. And I love the Twilight Princess costume on Zelda in this one because it, it looks so good. The Skyward Sword one looks a little iffy to me, and then the Ocarina of Time one is also rather elegant looking. Sounds like yep. fun. Alrighty. Also, and both of these ended a little early, possibly because we're a little overpowered, but that's okay. Next time we'll do more.